Okay, friends. It's taken me a while to get outside. I uh, busted a tooth, and the whole side of my face is swelled up. <coughs> Here's the aftermath of the blizzard. <sighs> what a mess. But majority of the snow is kept away from the back of the house, and that's what I was after with the snow fence back there. But that was just a lot of snow. Um, I find I got my wood pile cut off. Um, or <laughs> front porch, sorry, shoveled out. I need to get some prescriptions filled. So that's where I'm going next. I will. Turn on the video as I get going down the road. So, about that, you see the whole side of my face is swelled up. I broke a back tooth over here. I'm not sure how. But just to touch it, I feel it shifting. But yet, everywhere I've been, uh, nobody has any openings. So, uh, I know it's not a good thing, but it's hard to even open my mouth. But. Regardless, tomorrow I'm gonna take up programs again. So please, if you could remember prayers. This has really been sore. Uh, it happened Thursday night, and so I've been kind of dealing with it all the way through Christmas. Just kind of hibernating away from the storm. But anyway, let's get and survey the town. Driveway. My neighbors were kind enough to plow me out. I'm gonna get a run at this. Make sure no one's coming. So we'll go up the road and do a Yui. Typically a trouble spot for for snow right up here. You can see how high it gets up here. It's not quite the snow again it was a few years ago, but you can see what they had to cut through. I'm just gonna turn around here and head back. I gotta grab my mail as I head up town. Oh my goodness, my mouth hurts. And my stomach hurts <laughs> just trying to get my front steps. I've been letting Memphis out the garage door to go potty because I can't get my front door open because my screen door opens out. And yet my stomach was in no shape to shovel. So, very blessed for my neighbors pushing me out the top. without getting stuck here.
breathe outside in this cold air. Ooh, it hits that tooth and it just, it is so intense. Makes my eyes want to blur up. Pushing it in, I see. Uh, who needs a bumper, right? <laughs> Apparently, two trucks without a bumper. All right. Apparently, yesterday I was speaking with a dear friend of mine, and her and her husband were on their way down to Kansas City in between Dell, Iowa, and Ames. Apparently there was tons of vehicles in the ditch and some nasty drifting. But this is winter, right? We're only a few days into it, but we are also one day closer to spring. Oh my goodness. My mouth hurts so, 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 so bad. I'm going to try and see if they got some anesthesia, what do they call it, uh, anesthesia type mouthwash until I can get in somewhere where they can see me. Because most of the places that I've talked to said it won't be till after New Year's. Ugh. So, anyway, take it as it comes, God is good. He doesn't create the hurt, but he does create the relief. I can only imagine, you know, they pulled the snow plows, everything, all the roads in Faribault County were shut down as of Friday, I believe, or Thursday, rather, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, you're seeing this for the first time, as am I. It's going to be horrible if we get another bad snowstorm because the snow is already level with the ditches.
Christmas card from my wonderful friend Nancy from the Belmont Care Center. Notation to see if I can get scheduled back down there again. I'm going to sign off here, friends. There's not a lot going on. They got the roads pretty well clear. Um, if I see anything interesting, I'll come back on. Love to you all. Hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.